family is now demanding answers after their beloved cat was suddenly put down over the weekend. Yeah, they thought they had done everything right. Uh, they got the animal neutered, microchipped in case it got out or whatever. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez with the story live from Pearland this morning. She also has uh, what Pearland Animal Control is saying. Kathy, good morning. Good morning. Police say protocol was not followed, and now they've started an investigation. That cat's owner wants answers. Why? How? For what reasons? Cheryl Combs says her beloved cat Meeskers was chipped, neutered, and tattooed on his ear. But on Saturday, she got a call from the Paraland Animal Control and Adoption Center saying they had euthanized him after he was there for 72 hours. They told her a neighbor trapped the cat and Cruz picked it up on the 26th. Investigators say the employee was unable to safely handle the cat and a microchip scan was never performed, even though it's protocol. And she tried to tell me that, that my cat was crazy in the cage and they couldn't handle him. And I'm like, I don't understand that. That cat was almost bottle fed. I mean, I've had it since he was a kitten. He's never behaved that way. Now, Combs and her sister have questions. I can't believe that a facility that wants to take care of pets would do something like this. Maryland police released a statement saying, quote, it is evident that policies and procedures were not followed and the department has launched an investigation into the incident and are reviewing policies to ensure this does not happen again. More than 700 people reacted to the story on our KPRC2 Facebook page. Sarah writes, my heart hurts for this mom. Someone needs to be held accountable for this. Sharon says, I'm sorry this happened, but there are leash laws for cats also. Naomi writes, this makes me so mad. How awful. And Combs says if they weren't able to sedate Meeskers, then she wants to know how he died. Reporting live in Paraland, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.